In this video, we'll walk through the registration and submission process for NEM opportunities on Bonfire. Once we've accessed NEM's portal, we'll first want to go to the Login tab, and if we're a brand new service provider, we'll click on the Create Your Free Bonfire account. The first thing we need to do is put in our general organization information. Once we've filled in all the information, we can click on Create Account. The following screen will take us step by step through each phase of NEM's registration process. The first step is account confirmation. To send an account confirmation email, simply click the button. An email will be sent to the email that you just provided and a link to verify your account. Once the email is received, we click on confirm account. It takes us back to the registration page where we can now accept the privacy terms and continue to step two. Once in step two, we can now continue filling in all the necessary fields required by NEM. On the screen, we can also select a vendor type. If this vendor type is applicable to me, I can simply click the plus button to add it. Adding this vendor type has now also created a new custom field I need to fill out. To access it, I simply click on the custom fields tab and fill in the field that's required for this vendor type. Once I've completed that field, I can now click Save. I've now completed everything required for Step 2 and can move on to Step 3. In Step 3 of the registration process, you're able to optionally upload a company presentation. To do so, simply click Upload File and select the preferred file you wish to upload. Once you've completed step 3, you can click on Registration Complete. You can now see all the steps to registration has now been completed, and you can continue to Bonfire. The next part of this video will walk through how to submit to a NAM opportunity. Once an opportunity becomes open to the public, we can see it located on the Open Public Opportunities tab. To view the opportunity in more detail, click on View Opportunity. We're now taken to the project details screen. At the top of the screen, we can see all the key dates associated with this project, including any important events that have been added to the project, including the question due date. As you can see, some of the information is currently being hidden. In order to view it, I first need to sign the non-disclosure agreement. To do so, click on the non-disclosure agreement button. Here I can review the terms of the agreement by using the scroll bar and when completed, I can check the box agreeing to the terms and digitally sign my name. Once I've signed the non-disclosure agreement, I now have access to all the project files under the supporting documentation section in which I can go ahead and download each of them. I can also review all the requested information and in this case, a questionnaire has been provided and I can download the template to fill out as part of my submission as well. If I wanted to ask the project owner a question, I could do so in the messaging section by clicking on the Opportunity Q&A, clicking Start a New Opportunity Q&A, putting in the subject of my message and my question, and then click Send. At the bottom of the screen, I'm able to start my submission. To do so, I click on the Prepare Your Submission button. I can now see all the required documents required for the submission. You can see on each slot it indicates which file types are allowed and if multiple files. If multiple files is indicated, it means I can upload more than one file to this slot. You'll also see that there's a cost estimate which is asking for a number. I simply need to type in my cost estimate for this field. And finally we have our questionnaire which is also a required document. I can download the template again and I can upload the completed template as well. Once I've uploaded all the required documents for step one, I can now agree to the terms of the submission and click Submit and finalize my submission. The next screen is my submission receipt where I can see all the details of my submission that I just provided. I am able to edit my submission by clicking on this link at any time prior to the project close date. This concludes the video on how to register and submit to opportunities on NEMS Bonfire Portal.